getting my book. <laughs> I'm not. I got my box set of Lord of the Rings. I'm not flirting with your followers. You should report him. No one wants to see your face. Okay, we, this, no. <laughs> okay, this is my friend Cole, and he's lovely, and he's also on Tumblr. I'll put a link in the thing over the there. Amazing. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna watch the new Desolation of Smog trailer because it came out two days ago and neither of us have seen it. So I asked him if he would do a video with me. He said yes because he's awesome. Of course. And then. That's in a video. And I said yes. Yeah. And then. He always says yes. We got married. Not yet. Ah, but you did go to prom with me. That's right, I did. It's my prom date. Fun fact. Our picture's up there. On the wall. Oh, yes. I'm stabbing him. With a clutch. Okay. Did you see that it got like brighter when I smiled? Did you see that? Anyways. I have the angelic light and you you just brighten the entire video. So you're ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. I have to go away so we won't know if we're in frame or not. Oh, okay. I hope it will be. Just stay as still as possible. That's not gonna happen. Okay, just but I'm gonna pretend I'm, I'm so ready. Okay. <laughs> Press play. <laughs> Tales and songs fall utterly short of your enormity. Oh, Smaug, the stupendous. We are the dwarves of Erebor. We have come to reclaim our homeland. I offer you my help. Let me know you won't betray us. We don't. There is no king under the mountain, nor will there ever be. We will not end here. With every victory, this evil will grow. Legolas has grown very fond of you. Do not give him hope where there is none. You have no right to enter that mountain. I have the only right. We've been blind. In our blindness. I found something in the Goblin Tunnels. Wait. What? What did you find? Is that another ring? No, that's his ring. Then why did he find it? Oh, you it. Good. Oh, I think he dropped it. You need it. <laughs> I will not risk this quest for the life of one burglar. His name is Bilbo. There's like three more hours of that. <laughs> we're not gonna be. We're, we're was, probably just gonna drop dead in the theater. I was already excited from like the two minutes, the two minutes and twenty nine oh. seconds they showed us. I'm gonna be in the theater like puking and hyperventilating. Uh, oh, <laughs> where should we start? Uh, let's start with the Elf King's eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to talk about the. 
Got the trailer. Um, let's go over it part by part. Why not? Uh, the soundtrack looks awesome. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. It's beautiful. Every time I watch Lord of the Rings movie, and there's just, they could be walking and everything that's beautiful. And New and Zealand. New Zealand isn't real. It's fairyland. Also, I'm trying to remember if there's like another dwarf song that's coming up. Because you know, like in the first one, there's the Dungeon Deep. So the Misty the... Mountain song? Yeah. I just, it starts with in Dungeons Deep. That's why I just call it Dungeon Deep. No, it doesn't. It starts as far over the Misty Mountains. No. In Dungeons Deep, far over the Misty Mountain. The fires burn. Blah, blah, trees. Screaming. <laughs> Dragon. Where the Misty Mountains called In Dungeons Deep at Caverns Old. I'm right. That's what I'm looking forward to, another dwarf song. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's voice acting. First of all, let's talk about the fact that he's playing two characters in this trilogy. He's playing, um, the, the necromancer, necromancer and, and the Smaug. 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 the dragon. Smaug. I always say Smog. Smaug. Smaug. <laughs> that's how, that's the first guy who said it in the movie. He had the mustache that was like, Smaug. <laughs> they have a Wario mustache. Smaug. <laughs> <laughs> But I am really curious to why they would make him both people. Because if you could have one Benedict Cumberbatch or two Benedict Cumberbatch, there's an obvious answer. Hope we brought enough cumbers to make this batch. No. That they're getting this necromance story from little Junior Tolkien. With the one with the, all the unpublished yeah. stories? The Thousands of unpublished Lord of the Rings stories. Yeah. I feel like you're outshining me with that flower. I need I'm something so, else. I'm sorry. Maybe you should just wear the entire rack. No, now I'm pretty. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not supposed to come off. It's not supposed to. There's a no. There. It's my giraffe. Sorry. Bye. Whoa. But I want to talk about Orlando Bloom. He's so pretty. It's not fair. He's like... He's Am like, I as pretty as Orlando Bloom? I mean, you're pretty. You're like... You're like at a 10. But he's at like 12. Do you know who the lady elf is? The redhead? So I feel like this is another character that's gonna have to do with the necromancer. That'd be cool. I'm just looking... I don't know how they're gonna do with the... They're not doing the end, right? They're not doing like the battle scene. And no, the, no, they're the it's... burning village. Oh, no, no, no. They're just doing the middle with a whole bunch of new material. Yeah, and then I think at the okay. end they're going to cut off in that one scene that shows where a dragon breathes fire towards Martin Freeman. That's his name, right? Martin Freeman. Yes. Okay. Bilbo. Toward... Bilbo. Yeah, towards Bilbo, <laughs> where Smog will breathe fire, and I feel like that's where they're going to cut. I don't and, know where they're going to cut. And then it's you're going to, and then you're just going to be like. Like they did in the first one, where they only showed us the eye. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna show the dragon erupting, coins will go everywhere, no one's just gonna happen to not be looking. And then he'll be talking around them. No one's gonna see the dragon. And then when he breathes fire at them, they're gonna cut the movie, and no one's gonna know what the dragon looks like. If you're right, I hate you. But I'm very excited for this movie, though. I think it's gonna be great. And I think Peter Jackson knows exactly what he's doing. And. Martin Freeman is doing a great job. Oh, all the actors are so good. It's, uh, I love it. Casting, A+. I am going to give this trailer five classy stars. Five classy stars out of five. I'm going to do this because, one, the trailer made me really excited. Two, Benedict Cumberbatch's voice mesmerizes me. Three, cinematography. Four, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and five, Orlando Bloom. Cinematography. Beautiful soundtrack. I'm gonna have to get that once it comes out. Um, acting, brilliant acting in all all parts. Um, four. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go with like set design and costumes. Yes. Because the amount of detail is astounding. Those costumes. Also, have you seen the fabulous set designer? <laughs> Please, please. For costumes, I looked up one of Galadriel's, the Elven Queen's outfits, 
and and to make her outfit, it costed two thousand five hundred dollars for the material, and then the jewels that came with it were like another thousand or two thousand. That is so many tacos. <laughs> This is a lot! <laughs> Numero five. Cinco. I speak Spanish. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Benedict Cumberbatch as the dragon. I think it's just absolutely perfect, and I'm going to die in the theater. I will die in Cole's arms. And then he will probably die as well. We'll just die together, Romeo and Juliet style. No, I hate Romeo and Juliet. Uh, but I was talking about how they won't show the dragon, but I also feel like they won't show the necromancer this movie too. Really? I feel like it's going to be a lot of Gandalf being in the necromancer's castle and a lot of him sending on. other things to attack Gandalf. Oh. And then Maybe the ending will be us figuring out who the necromancer is and then like there's like a close up and it's like psh, and it's like, Right? Like, it'll be the fire, and then it'll cut, and people will be like, oh my gosh, this is the end. And then it'll be like Gandalf walking. Oh, yeah. And then. And then he's walking, and then there's Benedict Cumberbatch with his like, eyes closed. And he like. And it like zooms up and he's like, opens his eyes. And, and, and then. It's, and like, yeah, Gandalf like <laughs> turns, turns and sees Benedict Cumberbatch. And, like, and it's like. <laughs> oh! We should just write the movie. Who are your followers? Hey, Meg's followers. This is making me uncomfortable. If you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up or subscribe to her. <laughs> I paid him to say that. Yep. I did. And then after you're done watching this, you should go to the Classy Fury at .tumblr.com. There you go. It'll be linked down there, like I said earlier. Yeah. Anyway. And then you should send him hate. Wait, can it be like really like good hate? Like mean girls hate? You requested it here. <laughs> send me passive aggressive hate. <laughs> at classytheory.tumblr.com And I'll screenshot it and put it in the video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go to her Tumblr. My Tumblr, which will be down there as well. ComfySweaterCast.tumblr.com ComfySweaterCast, yes. We should find a way to end this video. Favorite scene. <laughs> Bye! Bye, niggas. Good job, niggas. Look, there's a close-up. Go wait. Let's go back. <laughs> You're so bad at pausing. What's your problem? I'm sorry, my computer is just like... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? There's no cable in a mountain. Don't do it. <laughs>